Hey Solus, Agent Solo, Matt Rice here, unboxing Dog Park, the collector's edition. My Kickstarter just come to my door, so excited, had to get a quick photo of, of my dog Fudge with it as well. Um, hope you enjoyed it, hope you guys enjoy that picture too. Um, but this is an unboxing, I plan to do a solo playthrough, uh, and I'm hoping it still plays solo. We double check it from the box. One to four players, fantastic. Solo mode must be in there somewhere. Um, with this, this came in the box with, um, if I just grab a couple of things, I've also got some little goodies in here. Looks like a couple of dog looking meeples, um, some bookmarks, some cards, things like that. So I might unbox that at the end. I've also got, um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like a little cardboard sheet of the dogs. It's like a thing you could put on a poster, I guess. Um, but anyway, let's, it could be a mat, maybe a background mat, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's unbox the actual game and see what you get in this collector's edition. Um, on the back, if you're interested, what it kind of looks like. I mean, on the side, you've got some beautiful pictures of a white cavalier here. Oh, fantastic. And we've got this here. It says here, and I was only slightly worried, but then I thought it must be inside the box. And yes, it is. For those that have the famous dogs or European dogs expansions, it looks like it's going to be in this box here. So we double check that as I open this box. Looks lovely from the back. I like that photo. Um, or that digital picture. Um, it says it plays 40 to, 80, 40 to 80 minutes, one to four players. What you get in the game here, looks like you get 163 dog cards, get some lead boards, game board. It looks like you get a lot of wooden tokens in the, because um, it includes the upgraded wooden tokens in this in this collector's edition version, which would be fantastic. Alrighty, let's open this up. Okay, as we unbox, this is what it looks like as you unbox it. So we have the rule book on top. I like that picture. Nice artwork in this game. Looks very cute. <laughs> Love it. Just doing a bit of a quick flick through for those that you can pause and have probably a bit of a read around if you need to. Um, but I love it. Yeah, nice little breakdown of the cards too. Cool. Pretty smallish rule book. I mean, which is good. A lot of pictures. I'm a pictures guy. I think for those that have followed me in videos before. Um, Variants here. Normally there's like solo solo ratings. So it looks like possibly beat your own score with things for solo. Um, and how the solo walking works. I mean, solo game rules is over here, which is good. Nice little dedicated area for it. Wouldn't have minded probably some pictures here with it too. But I guess, you know, they want to make keep it keep it small. I know a lot of publishers think solo is very small. Um, but I like to promote it a lot. I play solo almost all the time. Um, but cool. I'll, I'll be keen to give this a go and give you my thoughts too as I do through it. Some other variants as well. Index. And if you ask questions, fantastic. Um, looks like this is like a components list, I guess. And saying how it's got these involved with, I guess. So this is like a oh, it might be an addendum, I'd say, to the sort of rule book with the um, expansion stuff. Okay, cool. We've got some punch out stuff. <laughs> Plenty of that stuff. Excellent. We've got the game board itself. Now I might um, lay this out so you can see a bit better. So here's the game board. Looks pretty cool. Um, looks like all the pathways. I mean, I have to read up the rule books how this really works, but just to show you guys, uh, looks like some victory points are in the outside, which is usual for these kind of type of games. Dog breeds must go here, I guess. I don't know, but looks kind of cool. I like the artwork. Presents well on the table. Um, my table's quite big. This board's probably a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but fits nice and easy um, on most tables, I'd say. More of a squarish type uh, board here. All right, back to the rest of the unboxing. So it looks like we've got some player boards here. Looks like it's at home, nice dog mat there, dog bed. <laughs> so you got yellow, blue, looks like from the dog bowls. I'm getting it red. And I've got one of those too, those Kong, <laughs> Kong play toys. Purple player, excellent. And we've got some game tray storage. That looks fantastic. Oh, I love that, put all the, all the tokens in there. Stuff like this, nice and easy, beautiful. That looks great. So we've got two of these looks of things. We've got some score sheets. Keep score. Beautiful. Plenty there, plenty of games. Um, oh, look at this. This looks cool. So it's the wooden tokens, a little toy, the ball, the treat, I guess, and the stick. Oh wow. I'll just get a couple out to see what they feel like. Yeah, it's a nice thickness to them. That feels so cool. It's 
get one of the toys. Oh, unfortunately it's not squishy, there's no sound with that. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, I better not give that to my dog. All right, excellent. Um, what's this here, this must be some meeples, or the dog meeples, deeples, I don't know what you call them, doples. Cool. And there's the walker meeples here too. There's a couple there. A couple extras over here, yellow, purple, so that's your player, player ones. I assume this indicates first player maybe. I'm just guessing at some of these stuff, nice little kennel. Um, oh, cute looking bird and dice here. How cool is the die? I might get that one out. Oh yeah. Triple paw, quad paw. Hmm, interesting to find what that's all about. Ah, what else have we got in here? Um, looks like these are like little, yeah, that must be the, something to do with the colour things are put together. Um, we'll get into that soon. Apologies for me not knowing much, but I mean, this is my, just opening this game. Oh, what's these? These extra boards for something? Ooh, for the player, I guess. Different colours for the players. Okay, the expansions are in here, that's good. I'll come to them soon. So they're in plastic. These are just in a wrap. Uh, but it looks like plenty of cards. That's good news. Re replayability is what I want for solo, especially. In these kind of games. Let's get that bit open there. So for those interested, I guess I'll flip through all these. Um, you can pause when you need to, to have a look at a bit more detail. Um, but yeah, I love the artwork. That's fantastic. Alrighty. Clear out. Hey, it's Australian one. I haven't seen too many of them around lately, though. Alrighty, now you're getting used to it a bit. I might go a little bit quicker. I'm sure you can sort of fast forward through this a bit, though, too. So many cute dogs. Mm -hmm. In Australia, we have certain different names for some of these. Let's go through it. Toy poodles. So, Fudge, the dog I've got is a cavoodle. Um, though I think overseas, some. Some places call it Cavapoo. Um, one of the pop most popular dog in Australia at the moment. Love schnauzers as well. So many cards. I'm sure you guys are probably getting sick of me doing this, but I thought I'd show you. I may as well do I'm doing an unboxing. Might be one of the first ones to do this um, outside of the actual designers themselves and the manufacturer guys. Oh, that looks cool. Great Danes, love them. Plenty of boxes around where I, where I live as well. <laughs> Pugs. Ooh, what's this? Something different. Okay, so it's some about resources where the resources are, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, so flip through these a bit quicker. You're probably not as interested in these ones, but something to do with the game mechanics, I guess. Uh, solo objective, excellent. So there's some solo cards in here. Intermediate, expert, legendary, okay. So I see the way you... To win the solo game, you must complete the requirements on this objective. If you win, you can then calculate your rating. Oh, cool. I like that, because, whoops. <laughs> I like that because I don't necessarily just want, um, I don't necessarily just want a beat your own score, which I don't mind, like, but beating your score doesn't last as long as trying to beat an objective. I'm glad there's like a few different difficulties here. It's got the ratings in the back as well. So if you beat it, then judge your rating. Cool. I like that. I like how they've gone that pathway. These must be objectives. Other objectives, I guess. 
seasoned walker quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are his actions. These might be the uh, reference cards, I'd say. More reference cards. First edition. Ooh, containing full limited edition alternate art dog cards, eh? Hmm. We've got a different, we've got two great, I thought that's what I was saying great down there. Retriever, different Labrador, Pug, and Siberian Huskies. Oh, cool. Loving it. Next one. So this is more doggers. I see it's a strain on top. I've seen a few people have these dogs. Not too common. Maybe they're a bit expensive, perhaps. Let's open her up. I'm sure you get some quality viewing of me uh, cutting things. All right, let's move the old ones to the side a bit. I'm gonna be sleeving for days. I don't know. I'm hoping sleeve cards would fit, actually, if I chuck that back in. Ooh. But there is a second middle one, so perhaps, I have a feeling perhaps sleeve cards would fit in this. Anyway, let's have a look. So the same thing. I go quick if you want to pause at certain ones. Oh no, there's a dent in mine. No, it's okay. Sleeving works. He's a ball hog. <laughs> oh, Cavaliers. Mm, crazy trolls. Must be small version of ground. <laughs> yes, if you have these dogs, they're cool. Oh, retrievers, lovely dogs, those ones. So playful. <laughs> Two types of spaniels. Protective of those guys for their size. Well, different types of There's a head, different. Interesting. I'm learning a few things about dogs because you know I'm new to the dog game. Fudge is my first dog, and it's good to see the different types out there. I know some obviously aren't in available in certain countries, but well, aren't bred in their countries, I should say. Not seeing like a voodoo or cavapoo. It's fudgy missed out in this game. Oh, beagles, love beagles. Strange shepherds, yes. <laughs> Ooh, so many different dogs. This is what I'm talking about. So it kind of reminds me of Wingspan, doesn't it? I mean, for some people that look at this too. I haven't played the game yet. Um, I was just keen on it. I just love, you know, dogs and I like the theme of it. It looks like something that I could play with friends and solo, mostly solo for myself though, but oh lovely. Border collies, yeah, there's plenty of them in Australia too. Jeff Shepherds. Hmm. Never heard of that one before. Alright. Whoa. That's plenty of doggies. And we've also got some more doggies. I think this here, it's like an objective of like what the dogs are and how many percentages you have of them coming out or something like that. Um, I imagine sleeve sides for these cards are, are normal. Um, I think I've got, I do have some sleeve king cards. So these are 63 and a half by 88. And if I try to sleeve one, Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, fits pretty well. Probably a little bit long. Um, it's probably just shorter, but I think it's mostly the, the normal size cards, which is fantastic. Got plenty of those sleeves. 
for those that like to sleeve. This one here, I think that might be the red size sleeve from the old FFG days. Um, definitely not green. I mean, as a comparison, I don't have anything measured with them at the moment, but yeah, it's well smaller. So it might be the red ones, I think. But these are just like, I think it just talks about the percentage of dogs you can get. What's this stuff? Forecast. I don't know what these are. These are like events or something that change it. Uh, yeah, it might be or some secret objective or no, it's not really secret. I uh, don't know. This is kind of cool. Home time. <laughs> During home time. Yes, but not go home. Better go home and clean the dog. So here's, this is the uh, European expansion pack. So this is coming in the collector's edition. So I've got here the European dogs. So I'm gonna go this way. I'll just keep them in my hand. Gonna do just more doggies to add. So many more doggies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this artwork is fantastic. I wonder who they got here. I'll have to look it up. But it's fantastic. <laughs> Doggy, 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 doggy. <laughs> King Charles Spaniel, yes. <laughs> Mastiffs, yep. Cool. And then, last but not least, here, we're going to have the famous dogs expansion. Okay, so we've got the famous dogs here. Be, um, new, new, new abilities, I guess, that come with them as well. I think that's what that's all about. Hmm. Oh, the collies, yes. Corgis. So cute. <laughs> How many different dash ones are there? Plenty of dash ones around. Tell you what, Fudgy, you're not famous by looks of this, one of these people. <laughs> oh, St. Bernard's are fantastic. Yeah, right. I think that's it. I didn't. I don't think I saw Cavoodle or Cavapoo. Um, that's a bit disappointing for Fudgy, but maybe in a future expansion. Who knows? Or I just make up my own card. And just to double check, no, there's nothing underneath this uh, tray, but nice little tray nonetheless. Put it in. Labels where things sit and go. So that's excellent. I loved going through that. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Dog Park. <laughs> Love it. Collector's edition I've got. Just coming from Kickstarter. Um, arrived here in Australia. So, Solus, watch out for my solo playthrough coming up during the week of this game. Definitely be giving this one a crack. And in the meantime, Solus, to crush your gaming thirst, always play solo.